settlements. Now, you noticed on I-24 News this past Sunday in an exclusive interview that Michelle McCory conducted in Jerusalem, Prime Minister Netanyahu said that he intends to annex parts of the West Bank where Jewish settlers live. Normally, that would be very controversial. It would sort of get in the way even of the Trump administration wanting to put out a peace plan, you would think. But we spoke to a scholar at the Brookings Institution, the head of the Middle East program there, Natan Sachs, on why Trump is not condemning it. He's not reacting the way official Washington used to react. Usually the American president would be the one clamping down and saying, don't even think about it. It would make everything more complicated. But the White House here in Washington is a very different White House than we've ever seen in the past. And it's quite possible that we'll see a green light or a yellow light coming from Washington to Netanyahu. And here in Washington, though, Republicans are very happy Netanyahu won. They said Trump can win that way next year. A lot of liberal Democrats say Netanyahu, a right-wing coalition. The liberals here aren't happy. Derek?